Hello, this is Susan Woodcock at Workroom Tech, and I want to give you a tip for applying a difficult trim like this. Now, this is a woven trim with a very, very thick raised embroidery, and you can see the paper backing on the back where they did the embroidery. Now, it's a gorgeous trim, but it's very stiff, um, very difficult to flatten <laughs> if you want to do a corner and um, kind of difficult to apply to keep it nice and flat. Now I could hand sew this, certainly, but um, it sort of cups up a little bit and I'm worried that the hand sewing wouldn't stay in place on something like a drapery. And I'm going to sew it by machine sewing. But before I applied it onto this fabric, I added jewel tape on the back. Now this is a double-sided tape. You can purchase it from Donna Scoofus, and I'll have the link in the blog um, where to find this. And I've put two strips of this double-faced tape on the back, and you'll see the photos in the blog, um, but I don't want it to be where I'm going to machine stitch because it'll gum up the needle. So I've inset two strips of the jewel tape, I've also used the jewel tape to finish off these ends because you can see how thick that is. So that double-sided tape will hold the ends down. And then for sewing it, because of the embroidery, I can't machine sew over this and I can't get a regular foot to run next to it either. So I'm using the skinny foot and I'm stitching right along the edge. And I'm using a color thread that matches and a small stitch length um, because the small stitch length blends well with the weave of the, the flat tape or braid. So I'm going to keep sewing this. I am not mitering this particular trim because it's so heavy and so it's just finished at the top and bottom. And I've already allowed extra on each side for the hems. I'll be trimming off that selvage and then turning in the hems. So here I am at the top. And you can see where I've turned that under with the jewel tape. And I'm not going to try to sew across the thick part. I'm just going to sew to here, back up, and then so the other side. So I hope you'll continue reading the blog and learn more about applying trims and I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you. Bye.